One couple is now suing the city of Portland after they say they were exposed to tear gas during protests. Andy and Samira Green say they were at a Black Lives Matter protest with their two teenage kids last week. But while leaving the demonstration, they claim they were caught in the middle of tear gas released by police. The couple is seeking up to $200,000 in damages. The police chief in Portland has resigned amidst all the protests. Former chief Jamie Resch specifically chose Chuck Lovell, an African-American lieutenant, to take her place. Resch resigning just six months on the job, saying she needs change to start with change and says resigning is the right thing to do. She will remain with the Portland Police Bureau. Today, the mayor of Portland will release a list of police reforms that he supports. Eight minutes after the top of the hour now, and the Los Angeles Police Department has put a moratorium on the training of the type of neck restraint known as carotid restraint control holds. California's Governor Gavin Newsom also calling for the end of the hold and other techniques just like it. In 1982, the LAPD banned the arm bar choke hold and other techniques following a federal lawsuit, but the department still allowed the limited use of the carotid restraint. The Board of Police Commissioners will conduct a detailed review. Congressional Democrats have introduced legislation aimed at police reform. The package would ban chokeholds. It would also create a national database of excessive force incidents by police and then prohibit those no-knock warrants for drug cases like the raid that led to the death of Breonna Taylor in Kentucky. We need a national use of force standard. Right now, the question asked if there is police misconduct and excessive force is to ask of that use of force, was it reasonable. Well, as we all know, we can reason away just about anything. President Trump held a roundtable with members of law enforcement and police unions yesterday, and he vowed to them that there will be no dismantling of American policing.